The New Face of Racism in America Racism now is not nearly as blatant as it was 50 years ago. However, it is still very prevalent in America to this day. Racism today exists in four major forms. Spatial, institutional, internalized, and individual racism. Spatial racism is when a city is divided or segregated into neighborhoods in which only people of one certain race live. Often the white neighborhoods are much more well-kept and upscale, whereas the neighborhoods where minorities reside tend to be more run down and deteriorated. For example, we see Wilmette where the vast majority of the population is extremely wealthy and predominantly white. In contrast, the Chicago neighborhood of Englewood consists of 98% black residents and is rampant with crime and poverty. This separation is no longer enforced by the law as it was 50 years ago, but is now enforced by economic barriers. Because minorities can often afford housing in white neighborhoods, they tend to live in areas where other min minorities are living, where the cost of living is much cheaper. Institutional racism is when an institution prefers white people to minorities, often ignoring or not noticing the contributions of them. This is seen in a wide scope of institutions, including businesses, politics, the church, and private clubs. This kind of racism is commonly unnoticed because it is so ingrained into the culture of a specific institution that people don't even realize it's occurring. Institutional racism is also commonly seen with respect to crime. Indifference to crime and violence committed by minorities and against minorities is also institutional racism. One area where this type of racism is extremely prevalent is in the prism system in America. There are many more blacks, Hispanics, and Asians in the prison system than whites. In continuation with reference to the penal system, people of these minority groups are also much more likely to be sentenced to death than white people. Internalized racism refers to the system in which many minorities are raised. Growing up in a culture that celebrates the achievements of whites and devalues those of minorities causes people of color to see themselves through the lens of racism. Especially because our society has so few minorities in leadership roles, minorities often grow up believing that they are somehow inferior. Individual racism is when people are raised with either a conscious or subconscious sense of social supremacy. This can result in prejudice, slanders, and even crimes against people of other races or social backgrounds. Anytime someone regards someone else from the same background as them as superior to those of other backgrounds, they are perpetuating individual racism. In order to overcome the epidemic of racism, we must accept all humans as our neighbors, no longer seeing other races as strangers, but rather recognizing them as brothers and sisters.